Hey everyone, Kimo here and welcome to my home. Today I'll be participating in yet another Look for Less challenge where makers are challenged to recreate a high-end piece of home decor for a lot less money. This month's challenge is hosted by Yami at the Latina Next Door and Corey from Desert DIY. Both of these ladies are incredible makers. They focus on things like DIY projects and home decor. I have links to their channels down below in my description box, as well as a link to the playlist where you can find the videos from all the makers who are participating in this month's challenge. So please go ahead, check them out, show them your love and support, and let them know that Chemo Craft sent you. Now everyone knows that Pottery Barn has some amazing home decor, from wall art to furnishings to kitchen stuff, but did you also know that they have a Halloween section? I'll be recreating three Halloween candle holders that are inspired by these three items from the Pottery Barn website. First, this brass skull votive candle holder. You can see that it retails for $24.50 on the Pottery Barn website. And I'll be recreating this look with a couple of skulls that I got from Dollar Tree. Next are these really cool spider candlesticks that retail for $19.50 on the Pottery Barn website. And I'll be recreating this look using some Dollar Tree Halloween spiders. Last but certainly not least, I'll be recreating this really cool jack-o'-lantern off of the Pottery Barn website. I'm going to be doing the mini version and the small version using these jack-o'-lanterns that I got from my local Goodwill. The mini and the small jack-o'-lanterns on the Pottery Barn website retail for about $48 together. And again, I'm hoping to recreate these looks for a lot less. But before we go any further, please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a new video on things like DIY projects, home decor, gifts and entertaining ideas, and let me know in a comment down below which of these projects is your favorite. All right, well, let's get cracking. All right, I'm excited for our first Pottery Barn dupe, and this is the brass votive candle holders from the Pottery Barn website and I'm gonna take these plastic skulls that I got from Dollar Tree and with a sharpie outline the areas that need to be cut out so you can see that I'm outlining the eye sockets the sides of the mouth as well as the back where we will insert that candle to cut open the eyes and the other areas, I decided to use an X-Acto knife and I'm just cutting away at those eyes. And one little tip here, I noticed that for these skulls, there are parts of the skull that are a lot thinner than others. For the eyes, for example, the eyes were uh, pretty thin, the areas around the eyes, so that uh, those parts were easy to cut out. Uh, same thing on the back, but when I got to certain areas, I did notice that the plastic was thicker. Once those areas are cut out, I'm gonna use some leftover white primer paint, some latex paint to paint a coat of paint on both the inside and the outside of these skulls. And you can see that I'm not being totally careful. Um, there is a lot of texture on these brass votive candle holders on the Pottery Barn website. And so I don't mind uh, if I'm laying on that paint pretty thick. Once the paint has dried, I'm going to add a little bit of texture using this spackling paste. Now this is a paste that goes on pink and it'll dry uh, in a white color. And you can see that I'm just smearing it on, adding some texture and some height in various places on the skull. Now, instead of brass, I really love the color copper, and I have some copper metallic uh, spray paint left over. So now we're just gonna take those skulls that have that spackled texture on them, and we're gonna give it a couple of coats of this beautiful spray paint. And here is our result. Our second Pottery Barn project will be these spider candle holders. And again, can't believe the great Halloween section at Dollar Tree. I got these spiders, uh, and I also have these tapered candles on hand already. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to simply trace out um, a circle on the spider itself using the candle as a template. 
It turns out that the plastic used for this spider is a lot tougher than the plastic that they used on the Dollar Tree skulls. And so I'm using a kitchen knife here to cut out that circle so that I can insert the candle. And it looks like it's a very good fit. I'm gonna trace out the bottom of this spider onto some cardboard to produce um, a piece that can attach to the bottom of, of our spider. This piece will be used to help hold the candle in place. Taking another strip of cardboard, I'm going to roll it up into a small tube so that it'll also help that candle to stay in place. And I'm gonna use a hot glue gun to glue everything into the right place. So once that cardboard construction is over and done with, we're going to paint these spiders with a flat protective black enamel that will mimic the look that we have on the Pottery Barn website. So after a few coats of this beautiful black matte spray paint, here are my results. Our third Pottery Barn dupe project today are these really cool and modern looking jack-o'-lanterns. Now, on the Pottery Barn website, they're made out of metal, but I found these plastic jack-o'-lanterns at our local thrift store. And we're gonna use a kitchen knife again <laughs> to cut out certain sections of the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, it's really the eyes, nose, and mouth. Once those pieces are cut out, I'm gonna use my copper metallic spray paint again to spray the insides of our jack-o'-lanterns. The copper metallic spray paint will really help that candle light to bounce off and reflect off of that shiny surface. I'm gonna let that copper spray paint dry, and now we're going to apply the same flat black spray paint on the outside of our jack-o'-lanterns. But to prevent any overspray from going on the inside of our jack-o'-lanterns, I inserted a tube of some butcher paper to help that uh, overspray. And once the paint has dried, here is my final result. So how did we do? On the left hand side you can see that the Pottery Barn Halloween decor is valued at $136. I was able to pull off similar looks for about $8 which included the cost of the items as well as a few other supplies. How did I do? These projects were so simple and so fun to do, they'd make a magnificent tablescape or some outdoor decor to welcome your Halloween trick-or-treaters. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And happy Halloween.